Hello friends, this is Dr. Sitesh Roy, your super specialist in immunology, allergy and asthma coming to you with this special on whether India will have a third wave of COVID-19 and could it be bad? Friends, we have to realize that this question is coming to me from a lot of different quarters in the past few weeks because people are concerned that are we again becoming too complacent that we have beaten COVID-19 and now we don't have a problem. What we have to realize is we have precedence. We have the Spanish flu, the pandemic that hit us in 1918 and 1919 and took the lives of about 5 crore people around the world, 1.7 crore of them in India. And we clearly know from that that the first wave that hit was moderate. The second wave that hit was very bad. And the third wave that came was definitely a mild to moderate wave. We can't assume that the same thing will happen with this pandemic because clearly the SARS-CoV-2 virus, a beta coronaviride virus, is behaving very differently compared to the flu virus. It is not affected by the seasons, it is not affected by the weather, it is not affected by the surrounding ambient conditions. It transmits both by aerosols as well as the airborne transmission. It has a significant amount of what we call person-to-person -person transmission and even super spreading. These were some features that were not there in influenza or the flu pandemic. Recognizing that, we have to realize that in the first wave that we had in India, the peak cases were at about 97,000 per day. The peak in the second wave were almost at 4 lakhs per day in terms of cases. The deaths in the first wave did not cross about 1.5 to 2,000 per day and crossed well over 4 to 5,000 per day in the second wave and even higher going up to 10,000. So we clearly have a lot to learn from. Now what are the reasons that we could have a third wave? First we have to realize that the second wave has still not completely died down. We have about 30 to 35,000 cases per day still happening in India. And we still have anywhere between 500 to 1,000 deaths per day, which is way higher than some other countries in the world, even at their baseline. So we really have to realize that the pandemic has not ended. The second wave hasn't completely tapered off. It has significantly reduced for sure. But we have to realize that the virus, if it makes a significant mutation, which it know, we know it can do in a span of three to four months, and if people let down their guards, if they start traveling a lot, start gathering in, in crowds, start going into indoor spaces where a lot of people are together in restaurants and public places or for events or gatherings, then we know that we are asking for trouble because the Delta variant is 100% more transmissible than the previous variant that we had. Also, we know that the Delta variant can infect from person to person, from one person up to five people whereas the previous variant affected about two people or three people. So recognizing this, recognizing all that has happened, I still think it is very important that we keep our guards up. Vaccination rates are still not as high as we would like it to be. We still have only 5.3% of India completely vaccinated with two doses. And we have about 17 to 18% of India that has taken its first dose. Combine that with the 3 crore plus people who have recovered from the infection, we still are a long ways away from having herd immunity, where at least 75% of the Indian population would either have faced the infection, hopefully asymptomatic, or have taken the vaccine. So recognizing this and recognizing that there are still many untouched parts of the country where the virus did not penetrate in the previous waves or did in a very small way, I think it is extremely important that we still continue to maintain physical distancing, avoid travel where unnecessary, avoid gathering in indoor spaces especially, and continue to hand wash, hand sanitize, wear our face masks and when we are outdoors amongst people even double masking might be more beneficial than a single mask 
but really a rightly worn mask is the most important thing. So friends, whether we get a third wave or not is not important. What is important is taking care of yourself, your family, your society, making sure that you are taking care of your own immunity, making sure that if you are eligible for the vaccine, you've taken the vaccination and you have done everything you can to protect yourself. And then whatever the virus does, you know, people have been concerned about the Delta Plus variant. It is one mutation, K417N, over the Delta uh, virus, the Delta variant. The Delta variant had 17 mutations in it before it became the Delta variant. So friends, there is clearly time and space for us to reevaluate what we are doing. Eat well, stay healthy, get good rest, hydrate yourself well, make sure that you're taking good care of yourself and protecting yourself and your family and avoiding unnecessary travel. Take care, stay safe till next time. Be immune. God bless us all.